will tell you in my conversations with my constituents, they want us to do our part here in Washington to deliver results for them. And I can think of no better example of that than President Biden, House Democrats and Senate Democrats delivering on infrastructure. That does not happen by accident. It happens because of tenacious hard work, refusing to leave the table before we ultimately achieve consensus to get something done for the American people. New this morning, Colorado Roads. Colorado Roads. Colorado Roads are looking to get an upgrade. Here in Colorado, tens of millions would go towards repairing rural roads and expanding congested highways in Colorado cities. The Department of Transportation is now awarding $45 million to go toward bridge repairs just here in our state. It's also expected to create tens of thousands of jobs each year in Colorado. There are certainly many projects in my district, in our mountain communities, rural parts of my district that will benefit greatly from the investments made in this bill. Some money from that bipartisan infrastructure package goes towards building a national network of EV charging stations. The bill also allocates $916 million over five years to improve public transportation across the state. We'll provide for wildfire prevention and mitigation, resources that are desperately needed, Madam Speaker. Uh, that with respect to the infrastructure bill, that we could invest upwards of $10 billion for uh, reforestation and resiliency efforts, which would also help uh, in the fight against Western wildfires. A Herculean, once in a lifetime, generational investment in creating good paying jobs that ultimately will help us protect our environment. This resolution is a first step towards making those critical investments a reality.